Hi everyone, I was wanting to do a quick review about Invisible Zinc. Now, it's a range that specializes in sunscreen and what I really, really love about their range is that they use zinc oxide as the main active ingredient and zinc oxide is actually a physical sunscreen which reflects the UV light, like it acts like a mirror on your face to reflect the UV light compared to a chemical sunscreen which absorbs the UV light. So obviously um, something that's going to reflect it's going to give you more protection. Um, okay, so the first product I'd, li product I'd like to talk about is the ESP. Okay, so the ESP comes in a pump bottle and it's a great product. I mean, I got dark skin. Um, I should mention that the only downside to a physical sunscreen is the fact that if you're dark like me, it casts a somewhat white sheen over your face. Oh, my laptop is falling out of my lap. Okay, so that's pretty much rubbed in there. And as you can see, it does cast a bit of a white sheen. But if you wear this under makeup, it pretty much cancels it out completely. If you're going to be in photos, I wouldn't wear this because um, you're going to risk looking like you have a really white face. But this stuff is great for, I guess, if you're going to be working out. If you're going to be in the sun all day long um, and you really need that extra protection. So that's great. It's awesome. It doesn't make you oily, which is what most sunscreens do. And I think that's because of the zinc oxide. It sort of acts as... Um, as an oil absorber and for those that have really rather dry skin find that this is a bit too drying like they might find that it makes your skin even drier my sister said that anyways and um, it's it's good I wouldn't use it for every day even though um, it's probably best worn under makeup but lately I've been trying to just wear tinted moisturizer and less makeup okay so where has it Gone. Oh, here it is. Alright, so this is the tinted day wear and this one's in medium. Now I've actually pretty much finished this tube because I like to wear it quite a lot. So I would wear this one pretty much every day if you don't want to wear a lot of makeup. So as you can see it's much much browner and this is so great. And the fact that it doesn't give you that white, white cast over your face. So it actually gives you a, quite a nice tan, a really good glow. It's rather dewy. And to be honest, I tried this when I was like 18 or 19. And because I had much oily skin back then, I it was, it was horrible. So horrible. I, I, I was like, oh my gosh, I have grease all over my face. But... Now that I'm a bit older and I don't have so much oils being produced by my skin, it's it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. If you had oily, oily skin, I probably wouldn't use it. But um, on combination to normal and especially tan skin, it's really, really great. Um, it can double as a foundation or a tinted moisturizer at least. I mean, it is a tinted moisturizer with an SPF of 30, but... Um, you can use it as a foundation because it's got a fair bit of coverage and I'm sorry that I'm not wearing these at the moment. I just came back from uni so, you know, I just wanted to be a bit more, a bit prettier, I don't know, something like that. Alright, so the third product that I'd like to talk about is the UV Silk Shield Foundation. Now this stuff, um, too white, it's too white. So this is medium, which is the darkest, but it's still too light. Like, I actually just use this to touch up and I touch it up and I put it there because those are the areas most prone to pigmentation because, you know, the light's hitting your cheekbones pretty much all the time because they're they're up here 
And so, um, this stuff, I wouldn't really highly rate it. It's great if you have um, fairer, oily skin because it absorbs the oil. It doesn't make you oily. It's It gives you a fair bit of coverage, really good coverage actually. And it starts off quite silky, so your face looks flawless. But after a while, it, um, it separates. And I find that that happens to a lot of sunscreens. But you've got to remember, guys, that you're never going to find the most perfect sunscreen. Sunscreen is always going to be one of those things that's just frustrating, I guess. I mean, some break you out, some make you too white, some make you too oily. So this stuff, if you have oily skin, it doesn't make you oily. It does make you go a bit light, but you can always cancel that out with foundation. And... Oh, oh, except the tinted day wear medium stuff. Um, but it gives you the best protection, okay? It's got zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, and all your other physical properties. Okay, so this is the tinted lip and cheek stain. Oh, it's a balm, and this is a three-in-one. You can use it on your lips, and I'm sorry I'm not using it at the moment. Um... I want to wear red lipstick today. I am, I do have it on my cheeks and as you can see that's really, it's rather pretty. It blends very well and it's a, it's a great, great, great colour. It's more like a, it's like a, it reminds me of Dallas by Benefit. Actually, it's like a plum colour. So I've used it a fair bit. I used to use it a lot on my lips but it's, because it's zinc, it's quite drying. So if you do use it on your lips, put a balm first. I'll actually show you how to put it on your cheeks. So you can either just apply it straight on your cheeks or you can use a brush to like sort of press into it and then apply. But just because I'm usually in a rush, I just apply it on my cheeks like that. And then use... A flat end foundation brush. Now I got these brush, this brush from Napoleon, and just blend out on the apple of your cheeks. And it's great because these are again on the areas that's prone to pigmentation. So this is great if you're out and about and you know you get a bit lazy to top up your sunscreen, which you're meant to do every two hours. But you know who does that? Oh, I'm trying to get into that because. You know, it's off your face after two hours or four hours. It's not really effective anymore. Now, with zinc oxide or invisible zinc, they have a quite a short shelf life. So you'll find with most sunscreens, they might last up to a year, while this only lasts for about six months, and that's for all of their products. So um, I don't know if they can improve on that or find another ingredient to put in that's quite stable. But I think what they want to do is make it as natural as possible. Uh, so that, there you have it. Practice safe sun protection, guys. Put on some sunscreen. Um, I wear sunnies as often as I can, so do that as well so you don't have, you know, sun damage in between your eyes. And if you want to be super cool, you can use an umbrella, a little parasol. Okay, bye.